I hope um, you know orchestras will continue to have a, a, a serious online offer that people can access and, and, and participate in uh, and not just abandon that um, as a, a sort of temporary measure um, for the very reasons you've been saying that it actually opens opportunities for for many more people who can't travel and, and you know for, for lots of reasons can't be uh, in, in a live space. So I think it's it's a really good point. But but thinking about you know uh, live work, um, which is going to happen, and hopefully alongside you know a lot of digital work that's that's going to happen as well. Um, do you think there's there's more that we as a sector can do to enable musicians like yourself to take part in live events or to to have access to to live composition type projects or or whatever it is, so that you're not just confined to. To, to, to your home and, 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 and accessing things online. Are there, is there more that, that we can do to make things in, in, the, in the, the live space easier or, or easier for you to, to thrive as a, as a creative musician? I think offering the option always helps. There needs to be that reassurance for the musician that if they don't feel if they really don't feel able to travel or go to a live space then yes they can do it online or watch online right but the best thing you can do is ask the musician at the time or, or set up a, a survey, whatever, about access needs of, okay, we're, we're going to, to this venue. What, what do you look for in an accessible venue? What would be your top priorities yeah. in an accessible venue? And, and how do you feel about returning to normal because or, or whatever normal might be now because there is going to be a situation eventually where we can't sing and play in masks or ever forever mm -hmm. and in some instruments we can't sing or play in masks at all. No. So there needs to be, it needs to be very much led by the needs of the musician. I couldn't agree more. And I think that kind of consultation uh, is, is at the heart of, of what needs to happen rather than just expecting, you know, musicians with additional needs to be able to fit in with the way that, you know, orchestras, arts, arts companies normally do things, but be prepared to adapt to, to, to consult and to adapt to, to find a way to be able to, to do things so that uh, everyone can, can give their best and, uh, and can be accommodated as, as fully as possible. So, I think that's a, a really good point, and that applies to the, to performing companies and also to venues. Uh, 